Welcome back to News 5 Today and your consumer watch this morning. When small business owners succeed, it benefits our local economy, which is why fraud experts and local business owners tell News 5 that we should all be concerned about scams that attack many of them are facing, impacting their reputation, their bottom line, and the people that they employ. Patrick Nelson is here with a look at how one small business is navigating some of these challenges. Patrick. Yeah, Andy, plenty of problems out there if these business owners aren't careful. You know, the Federal Trade Commission documented what these costly attacks on small businesses have looked like through the years. We're talking about everything from fake invoices, ransomware, and imposter scams to empty promises to promote or even improve a business. Local business owners tell me these are judgment calls they have to make on a regular basis and getting it wrong could cost them everything. Natural Tones Co. is clean natural deodorant that comes in light, medium, and dark to match in with a variety of skin tones. For Brooke Pesdert, starting her own product line and company was something she debated on doing for 18 years. When you start, you don't know what you don't know. She finally launched her natural deodorant business three years ago and quickly learned you can't trust everyone who reaches out to help or with an opportunity to grow the business. It's so important to just take a breath to um, really take a minute um, or even a, a couple days to think about it and to do your research behind the um, opportunity that's being presented because it's not always what it looks like. Inspired by Brooks vision, Amber Merrick became a co-owner of the company, helping to spot unsolicited pitches they get on a regular basis that could lead to trouble. We haven't been hoodwinked in, in, into anything yet, but it's definitely out there. There are a lot of ploys to um, benefit off of small business owners and not at their best interest. CSU Global's Dr. Fraud, J. Michael Skiba, says when a pitch sounds so good, it can be tough to spot fraud, scams, and even questionable business ethics. So the biggest red flag to look for is often how the person wants to get paid. Those wire transfers, the crypto, the using the, I call them non-traditional payment methods like your Venmo, your PayPal, um, you know, those are those are not business to business platforms. They're they're personal to personal and they don't have the same security protocols. Brooke and Amber tell News 5 they see the value in this consumer warning and plan to seek advice and share information with other local entrepreneurs who are familiar with these challenges. Every single day, all day long, you are making decisions that will impact your life, your business partner's life, your kids, your family. So it's just, it's very intense, but it's also so rewarding. And the Federal Trade Commission has compiled a full list of attacks on small businesses that they're already aware of. The hope is getting familiar with what these types of attacks look like can help stop a scam before it happens. If you want to take a look at that list and some business advice, I posted those resources for you right now on our website, koaa.com. Andy, back to you.